Hello, I'm back again with you for another video. Thank you God for another day, for another day, even though I know it's hard for us to say it because so much is going on, but God is in, in charge. He knows what's going on. He tells us there's going to be wars and rumors of wars, and that's going to happen all over the world. Global warning, global warning is everywhere. Even the weather is changing. The, the heat is changing. The, the, the cold weather is changing. So these things is changing. Jesus told us already in the Bible it's going to happen. But let us that know God pray that God will bless the ones that are going through these problems and troubles and things, that God will help them. Praise the Lord. Amen. It, 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 a, lot of, a lot of them is suffering. It's just like what people would be suffering for something that we didn't have nothing to do anything about. But being in that situation, it's going to hit everybody. But God promised that he will help his people. He said he's going to look out for them. But he said that these things wouldn't happen to us. But he said, trust him. Keep our faith and keep on moving on and trusting God, knowing that he got a plan for you some kind of way. He's going to work a miracle, and ain't nobody going to know it but God. Amen. And then after he do it, you're going to know God did it. Amen. And we're going to give God praises and honor to it all. So we don't wish no bad on it, no country. We wish they all to get together and get along. Praise the Lord together. Praise God. But the Lord says it's going to be wars and wars and rumors of wars, and we can see it already happening. Love one another. Pray for one another. Like, say, like I, I, I want to say, rather, there's a lot of innocent people being caught up in things that really wasn't their fault. Praise the Lord. And that's, that, that's sad because all that could happen to any of us. Praise the Lord. But, they, but God, God is with us. God will help us. God is with the country that's going through all these problems. And I hope, like I said before, I hope peace come between them all. Praise the Lord. It wasn't their fault about what had happened. They was attacked. And you have to protect, protect your peoples in your country and all those that come up under the umbrella of your country and want to be saved. You have to do it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Praise God. That's the way, that's the way God wants us to be. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And if it's done wrong, I'm not on side of wrongness. I'm on side of rightness. And that rightness comes from God. Even if my enemy was doing, if my enemy was doing right, I would have to say thank God for my enemy for doing right towards me. Praise God. So we hope that uh, the peace come and, and think about the people that suffering that have nothing to do with this. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our prayers are for everybody. We're not trying to say no one or other. But God in charge, he know what to do. And he's going to do it in his time. He's going to help them. He's going to deliver us. He's going to bring peace. And I believe that in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to go to you to uh, Isaiah, the fifth, 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 Isaiah 53, 4 to 5. Tell us how Jesus suffered on the cross for our sins and, and not his sins. He didn't do no wrong. He, he went down on the cross and, and suffered for us. Just like we see today, people mind their own business, ain't bother nobody. And their tragedy come upon them. Lord, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to read the scripture, Isaiah 53, 4-5. Amen. Surely he, he had borne our grief and carried our sorrow, yet we did entreat him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Fifth verse. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity, the chest the chestment, the chest chestment upon our peace was upon him, and he and with his Christ we are here. Talking about Jesus, he was bruised for our transgressions. Nothing he did, but what we did. You bone and sin and shaped him in iniquity because of uh, uh, yeah, Adam and Eve listened to Satan and not listen to God. So sin come as you hear me say before, sin came down over everybody. No care what color you is. Sin is on us because of that. And Jesus came and, and made peace with us, made peace for us with God. Amen. Brought us back out from under the power of Satan. He had the key and death and hell and all, but God got it in Jesus' hands now. He can't do nothing, but he can torment us and bring lies to our mind and our memory because we're in a fleshly body. That's why we got to be and we must be born again, have the Holy Spirit to fight for us and let us know what's true and what's wrong. Because on your own thinking, you're not going to see it because we'd be blind. All we can see is something going on. we mad and we upset. We don't know what caused it, how it happened or nothing. Praise the Lord. But when the Holy Spirit is in you, they'll let you know what's going on. Praise God. But God is with us. God's going to help us. And I pray God to have mercy upon our enemies. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because Jesus, when he went on the cross, he died. He was bruised for everybody in the world for our transgressions, for everybody. No special people. Because the, at first, this was not the way God wanted it to be. But God changed it to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, bringing us back the way he wanted us to be in the beginning before Adam and Eve listened to Satan. And that's what's going on now. 
So many people listen to Satan that they're so blind. They don't know what's right and what's truth. And that's so bad. That can happen to any of us. It can happen to me too. But I thank God for the Holy Spirit that God and lead me. Let me know what's truth and what is not truth. What's right and what is wrong. Praise the Lord. So we just got to keep on praying. Knowing this global warning. And know the world has changed. We know it's coming to an end. These things is happening. What Jesus said in the book of Revelation is coming forth. But God promised to help his people. God promised to help his people. And I believe that. I don't care what happened or what seemed. I believe that God going to help his people. And he'll help the ones that are doing the wrong. If they'll turn to him and ask for forgiveness. But if you don't believe in God, you're not going to do it. But if you can't just do something to people and think they just lay down like a little puppy and let you do anything you want to do to them. It's not right. It's not right in the sights of God. And then you're going to turn it around and make it look like it's their fault. No, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's wrong. And the enemy can try it all he wanted. And those that believe him, believe in the enemy, that this was somebody, that this was they, the, uh, Israel's fault because this war had started. I pray God to open up the people that was under them and that let them see the, their eyes be open, what I'm trying to say, and see the truth. Israel is only defending his country. They was attacked first. And so when you attack first, you're going you're gonna to do something about it. If a dog try to bite you, you're going to try to get that dog off of you. As hard and as many kind as you can. Not saying it's right. God forbid, but this is the way it is. And God let us know this is the way it is. There have been wars and wars all the way back in the Old Testament book. And it's going to be like this. Did Jesus come back and bring them that, down that new heaven and new earth? But I, what I want you to get to, what God wants you to get through, and I want you to get through because God gave it to me like he gave it to you. That Jesus was bruised for our iniquity. He done no wrong. It's what we did. Amen. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't have to die for his sin. He didn't have to die for no wrong. It's he did no wrong. He's our savior. He did he saved us. To save us from eternal torment in hell. Praise the Lord. And if we go there, we choose to go there, but not believing in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because all power is in his hand. He's the boss. He's the servant. He is the servant of all of us. Praise God. God, God is, 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 is the servant of, of, of mankind because what he did for us is prophecy. Praise Lord. A, a servant works and do things that is right and pleasing in his sight. That's what God sent him as a servant. And Jesus came in this world as a servant servant and did what God the Father told him to do to save us. Now he's going back to heaven, sitting and took, pick up his glory, and he waiting one day to come back for the church without spots and wrinkles. Believe it or not, it's going to happen. It's sure. You see what's happening now. It's already been foretold and been prophesied in the Bible already. So get ready. Get ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus. I don't Christ. I don't know when it is. I'm not telling nobody. Whenever I don't know. Jesus said he don't even know to the Father. Tell him when to come back and get us, the church that believed in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But I'm saying right now, people have a chance to change their mind and accept the Lord as their person to save your praise God. Amen. Jesus did not die for his sins. He did no sin. I'll tell say this again. He died for our sins, for our burdens, for our sickness. Praise God and all the other things that happen to us that we can't handle without God helping us. That's why we got to be and we must be born again. Baby, accept these things that's going on. Accept the will of God, which is good. You want peace? You want good to happen? Get Jesus. Accept the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he'll help you to work it out in things that's going to happen and ain't nothing we can do about it. Jesus will help us to get through with peace in our heart, knowing this is the will of God, but it's going to be all right. It's not going to go on forever. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to say a ready prayer and I'll come to the end. But remember, Isaiah 54, 5 and 4. Read those verses and then remember, this was done to save us from our sins. And all those that don't have, don't have, have not, I'm trying to say, except the Lord and Savior Jesus, they person the Savior. You still under sin. You still can be uh, stricken by things that you can't handle. Our body can't handle And that's why you see people doing all these weird things to try to help. But they don't realize it's because we're in the flesh of the body. We can't help it. We're going to be overcome by evil. We're going to, we're going to, overcome, we're going to be overcome by lots of things because we can't help it. But if you know Jesus Christ and you turn it over to the Lord, whatever you have to go through, he will help you to go through it. It ain't mean you ain't going to have no trials and tribulations. We're going to have them. But we know that God is real because we know we couldn't make it if it wasn't for God taking us through. So he let us know if you trust in him. And we're going to be trying to see, do you really trust God? Do you really believe? Or are you just saying this from your lips? And as soon as something don't go the way you want it to go, you don't want nothing to do with it, with God or nothing. That, 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 that don't make it stop. 
it's still going to happen. God is God and Jesus is our Savior. He was a servant. Came in this world. He was a servant. Made a servant, rather. To come into this world to save us from our sins. Praise God. He's real, whether you believe it or not. Praise the Lord. But I'm glad I'm a born again believer. Amen. I didn't always believe, but I believe now. And I pray, God, you come and start believing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Before it's too late, he loves you. He care about you. Amen. You can't be no wicked and no too good that God can't help you. Praise God. So we pray for peace, that peace will come and no more lives be destroyed. But only God knows it. And the way it looks right now, it's going to be a rough time. But I'm praying that God got something hidden that nobody knows but God did. Come down and help his people and deliver them from out from under the power of this evilness of Satan. Amen. Praise God. That's what's who's behind all this is Satan. Ain't, ain't no reason for this to happen. The people minding their own business. They weren't setting up nothing and hurt nobody. The, uh, the one that's saying it was they fault. They the one that was setting up things to hurt them. They wasn't setting up anything to no way to hurt them. Praise God. And now that they're protecting their country, all of a sudden there's something wrong with them. No, they're supposed to uh, protect their country. Um, if a dog jump on you, you're going to try to get the dog off you. You're not going to lay there and let him just bite you. You're going to try to get him off. If you know Jesus Christ, you're going to be calling for Jesus all the same time. He'll be giving you power to get him off. I praise God. You ain't going to lay there and let him bite you. Because them bites hurts. And walls hurts. It hurt everybody. Lord, have mercy upon us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to leave you with this prayer. Praise the Lord. I pray God continue to bless and have mercy on everybody around the world. Lord, continue to look out for the children everywhere around the country, Lord. Those that have ups, those that down, tried tribulations, going through something, don't know the left from the right, don't know what to do, Lord. Intervene. Help them, Lord. Deliver them, Lord. Praise God. Even our enemies, Lord. Have mercy on them too, Jesus. I pray and ask. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Go in peace. Go in peace. Jesus love you.